Okay, so another way of using labels is to bring together all of the emails about a particular subject or from a particular company together into one label. So for example, if you work with a number of people at one company, you can use labels using the domain of the, of the sender to bring them together into the label. So let's say, for example, I get lots of email from different people at Cars Guide. I can type that in there, hit filter, and that will give me all the emails from the different people at Cars Guide. From there, I can create a filter with this search, and then I can choose a label and call it Cars Guide. I can then nest it under. I don't have a client's label, but I could nest it under a client's label. And I'll apply that and click Create Filter. Now, because I don't yet have a client label, and I want to nest it under there, let me find where did they go? Here we go. Okay, so because I don't have a label for clients and I can't nest it yet, what I'm going to do is open this one up. I'm going to create a new label. I'm going to call it clients and create. Okay, so now I've got this email is under clients and cars guide. Next thing I want to do is just change cars guide. There it is. I'm going to click edit on that label and then I'm going to choose clients. And that's now going to nest that underneath. Now that's just an organizational thing. Anything that's in Cars Guide does not also have to be in clients. This is just so you can see your labels a little bit better if you have many, many, many labels. So this example here, we take clients off there. You'll see now clients is empty and Cars Guide has got 41 emails in it. So that's how you nest labels.